Right, welcome to Broadview House. That's the dead end road down into Sproxton Village. That's the main road from um, Helmsley to Malton. And that's the local traffic there. And uh, we're gonna go and have a little look around the house. Beautiful um, stone built home. Probably enough room there for three cars herringbone um, parked. Our car where the Land Rover is and one next to it. So there's enough room out here for five cars, four guest cars and obviously our own. At a pinch we could always put our own in the uh, garage and make room for another one for our guests. So we're going to go through the front door. And first thing we immediately see is the staircase going up into the bedrooms. Lovely wooden floors there. And you can see all the way through there to the back garden. We turn left immediately. Wooden floor. Uh, this room here um, looks out across the, the car park there. And um, all sorts of options, either a breakfast room, it's too small for that I think. Possible downstairs bedroom. Maybe knock through that door uh, or that wall and make an ensuite uh, of this bathroom that I'm going to show you now. Just going to go, no you're alright, that's Mark, you're such a nice guy there. And we're going to go through here, this is um, unfortunately just a toilet and um, hand basin at the moment, but there is room in here yeah. for a shower, <laughs> if we get like uh, creative. <laughs> and then this is a beautiful room, this at the moment is a city room, it's a gorgeous stone uh, fireplace, it all looks like reclaimed wood and reclaimed stone actually. And two French doors out to um, the garden. And it is a south facing garden and it's an absolutely beautiful view out there, right across the, the Vale of Pickering. And it's, uh, it's really quite lovely. A little bit of, a few bits and pieces need doing with the dog proofing, as always, bless the dogs. And this could either be our bedroom, possibly, or it could be the guest um, breakfast room. And that probably is the better use for it because it is absolutely stunning and I think would blow our guests away. Oops, sorry. Coming through here. And uh, this is the um, kitchen, right the way down there. Quite wonderful, beautiful range stove, five, six burner range stove fitted appliances. It's very large, very American actually. And it's uh, tiled floors and uh, wood floor here. So we're just back up here. And this would be our daily, daytime living area. I suppose we could have our uh, couches or a kitchen table here or something like that. And uh, coming through here is the utility room. Very nice size utility room. And a uh, door out into the garden. Actually, you also got a little buggy door. And then behind me is uh, actually a garage. And you just have to believe. So very nice. Yeah, this would be a this would be a lovely place to spend the day, I think. I don't think we'd feel too claustrophobic. I think it'd be okay. Right, coming upstairs. Upstairs, all the carpets are the same. They're all in good shape. They could probably do with a clean. Uh, in fact, they could definitely do with a clean, but they are in good shape, and that's good news. And first bedroom on the left here is actually the smallest of the en suites, but it is actually a really nice sized room. It's, it's at least the size of the burgundy room, probably a tad larger. And it's got a beautiful en suite, lovely uh, corner round shower there, and a really nice uh, toilet. All the showers and, and, and toilets are, are the same. Uh, I can't turn it upside down. They're fitted wardrobe, so you don't have to have freestanding furniture. And a really nice um, view out the front looking down towards Helmsley. You can see the sheep there and there's little old cottages and very, 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 very um, village, very, very rural, very lovely. So coming on out here, there's the stairs there. And then we come in this one. This is a beautiful, beautiful, large uh, ensuite. You get a double over here, two what they call Juliet balconies there, and the views out the back here, as you can see, are absolutely stunning. That road there, you can see the cars coming up and down. Really, you can't hear anything in the house at all, but that's the main road to um, Moulton from Helmsley. You can get a sleeper couch over here, and then this beautiful um, bathroom. Lovely, got one of these round corner bar, uh, showers again, and just really spacious, lovely wooden floors, same in all the bathrooms. And then these lovely 
large fitted wardrobes. Very American, very American. Very nice. This is at least a double with a sleeper couch or a single. Coming in here, and this is the most spectacular of the, the rooms. It's very warm as well. The heating seems to work fantastically well. This is a lovely, lovely big room. I'm just going to put a light on in here because you also come through into another sitting area or uh, a room maybe with a couple of um, singles or a sleeper couch. I think it could have been a nursery at one time or something. But you can see it's an absolutely beautiful room. I think it's something like 16 by 18 and it's, it's, it's huge once again with those fantastic views out the back there. Absolutely marvellous. But it goes on. There's more coming through here and this is a private uh, dressing area. Uh, with lots of cupboards and storage. The water tank is in there, which are told is a very high quality, high pressure water tank, so the pressure is really good. All sorts of fitted wardrobes in here. I'll put some lights on so we can actually see what we're going on. Uh, very, very American. And then you come through here, and this is quite the bathroom. Look at the size of that bath. It's unbelievable. Look at the size of this shower. It's one of those um, seven men rugby team showers. And look at the size of this, <laughs> unbelievable. And beautiful views out in front as well. Really, really very, very nice. So this is quite a thing. This is, oh, I don't know what you would do with this actually. Um, but it's at least uh, a king in here or, or a double. You could get a sleeper couch. You could also get a single bed in here and you could get a couple of singles or um, a sleeper couch in here. So this is this is a five, a five berth, um, family room and would be a real, real asset. And then something else that's and a little so unusual. The entire property before we moved in. Right. And we just put our attention. And then yeah, the we furniture. go upstairs to the okay. second floor. And this is really super nice because on the right. What do you call it if you put your own curtains? Here's um, another lovely sized yeah. room. Get some light on the scene here. Beautiful sized room and you can see that the, the eaves actually come down on both sides there. So it is restricted head, right, head room on the sides, but it's such a big room it doesn't make any difference at all. The only downer with this is that they are um, Velux windows, there's, there's, there's no views out of here, which is a real shame. I think they had to do it that way because of restrictions because we're in the national park here. But it is a beautiful, beautiful room. It's quite huge. It's got to be 15 by 18, something like that. And you can see right across the hallway or the landing. Oh, by the way, there's a lovely storage, uh, maybe laundry room in here, something like that for all your linens and everything. But then this is absolutely fabulous here. This is an incredible bathroom. Look at the size of that bath. It is massive. And then this shower is extraordinary. It's got all these sort of massage pump things and then you've got your toilet and your wash hand basin here and it's absolutely gorgeous hardwood floors and it's it's quite stunning and this is all on its own on a on a, the, the second level of the house so anyway that's about it the carpets as i say are in good shape but they could probably do with a clean uh, the general decor uh, is is very plain it's magnolia a um, little bit of uh, TLC needed, but it is clean um, and it's very warm and very, very cosy and uh, tremendous. See you later.